Hello, good morning. It's a Sunday morning and we are interviewing Lena from Lena Laloon on Instagram. She has the most amazing raw food recipes I have ever seen, especially the one that she put into the Raw Vegan Bundle. It's an ebook on up, <laughs> I mean, next level pasta dishes. I don't know how she figured it out, but she creates pastas, not just from zucchini and the usual, you know, zoodles and, um, you know, noodles from cucumbers, but uh, she will tell us how she does it. Uh, she's gonna come in. Lena is in the house, I just saw her. She's gonna ask to join. Here she is, I'm gonna let her in. Lena is in the house. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hello. How how, how are you? How are I'm how's, fine. How is your apartment? Did it burn down? Well, no. Um. <laughs> nothing happened in my apartment. It was um the flat above me, so okay. I was really lucky and nothing happened. And after approximately two hours, we were allowed to go back. So okay, okay I'm safe. <laughs> Oh, oh, good. I'm glad because I know yeah. you had a little yes. incident. Yesterday was a little bit crazy, but... Oh, okay. Thank goodness you're okay. Well, welcome. Yeah. I, I'm very excited to speak to you because every day I look at your ebook that's in the Raw Vegan Bundle and I drool because I can't wait to make all the recipes. <laughs> can you, before we get into that though, can you tell us about your background and how you came to, about to this lifestyle? Yes, sure. It's um, quite a story. <laughs> I have to get, go back a few years. So it all started for me when I was just five years old, actually. Um, I can remember that day my sister came back from school and she is five years older than me. And she told my parents, I don't eat meat anymore. And the reason was because she was visiting a slaughterhouse house with her teacher in school, which is pretty tough, I think. Yeah. But, yeah. Obviously, she was quite shocked and she decided to yeah, don't eat meat anymore. And I was just five years old and I decided to join her. I just oh. wanted anything that my sister did. So I was like, yeah, yeah meat eater. And so I basically grew up on a standard Western diet just without the meat and without fish. Um, that's already an improvement, but yeah. obviously not, not enough. <laughs> so we yeah. still... Um, I still consumed so much dairy products, um, yeah, milk, yogurt, especially cheese. I would put cheese on, on literally everything. Mm. <laughs> it was horrible. I was really addicted to cheese. Yeah. And however, I was a pretty healthy, happy child, I would say. But mm. when I came into my teens, things started to change a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I developed some health issues, especially gut related issues. Um, I had stomach pain all the time, nausea, I was bloated. Yeah. And basically after every meal, as soon as I would eat something, I felt sick afterwards. And this was quite challenging because the relationship to food is then completely messed up. So because I knew I have to eat now, but I also knew I would be in pain afterwards. So oh. it was quite, it was oh. yeah. yeah. And my parents obviously were concerned and we went to all different kind of doctors and also alternative doctors and um how do you call them natural paths natural path yeah and they basically all told me the same i should increase my protein intake <laughs> because they thought i i am vegetarian and this was already crazy at that time and vegan was not even a question <laughs> so if i told them i'm not i don't eat meat they already freaked out and yeah they said fruit is not good for my gut it's too irritating too much sugar <laughs> you can imagine it was pretty bad and yeah but that's what i did i tried it i basically was on a high protein high fat diet back then and i was really afraid of fruit because everyone kept telling me i should avoid it and if you don't know, you just do what they say, right? Yeah. Yeah, I was pretty desperate and 
I remember that I, I was craving fruits, but the only thing I would allow myself, for example, for breakfast, I would count my blueberries. <laughs> I had um, 10 to 15 blueberries on top of my oats and that's it. I, would, I was so afraid to eat more. Yeah, it's really crazy. <laughs> and obviously things um, didn't improve. So I started to do my own research and when I was like um, 16, 17 or so, I found out about um, a clean eating. So I um, started to, um, yeah, I don't, I didn't eat gluten and refined sugar and oils anymore. Okay. So I, I cut them out and nothing really happened except of me losing a lot of weight <laughs> so I was really skinny then and th then um, when I was 22 23 I think I was diagnosed with osteoporosis yes oh, oh my god <laughs> this, yeah, this was another shock for me because it's too young to yeah. have such yeah a and th yeah the doctors told me it's um, because my mother also also suffers from osteoporosis and my grandma also so they thought it's genetic and it's in my family and I can can not do anything about it and then I thought okay no <laughs> something is really not working here and then I continued with my research and finally thank god I found out about raw veganism and the first um, person I found was Fully Raw Christina on YouTube yes yeah <laughs> yes. I think she He's always the first person. He's always the yeah. first person everyone says. I, yeah. 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 So basically, I binge watched all her videos in one weekend. And yeah, I thought, okay, that's it. I, I have to try it. I had nothing to lose, you know. So I basically went raw overnight. And it wasn't so difficult for me because I already cut out gluten and refined sugars and oils. And I was vegan already, so it wasn't so difficult. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's what I did. And but I have to say, things didn't improve so fast for me because some people they tell you, Yes, I went raw, and then in five days I healed everything. Or so for me, it lasted like more than one year, and then wow. I could find the improvements. Yeah, wow, wow. Well, it's a good thing you stuck with it. Yes, because I, I was so convinced that this is the right thing. And I also read all the books like 80, 10, 10 and how not to die. And I was just convinced that this is the only way. And this, it, made, it made so much sense to me. So, yeah, yeah. I kept doing it. <laughs> Thank goodness. And so now you feel 100% better oh, than yeah. you did? <laughs> and after one year or so, my stomach pain went away completely. So I don't have any gut issues anymore. Oh, good. That's such a release. <laughs> so, how, so how many years has it been since that day when you started the Raw Vegan? How many years? Um, it's now almost four years ago. Oh, okay. In June. That's great. Four years oh, okay. And then, and then when did you start creating your own recipes? Oh, I started um, pretty much right from the beginning. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. Because I, I used to love, I love to be creative in the kitchen also before my raw vegan diet. So I just switched to raw recipe creation instead of cooked recipe creation. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, the, and, and so how, so, so your contribution to the bundle is an exquisite uh, pasta ebook mm -hmm. that I, I'm amazed at the creations uh, in there. Um, how, how did you come up with the ones that are not just the new, you know, the zucchini noodles yeah, and right. cucumber noodles? Because we all know the zucchini noodles and I thought I want, I really wanted to create something that is more like the real pasta also right. from, from the texture. Yes. Yeah. And then I just thought, okay, people do all different kind of, of stuff like pizza and like wraps and they also create these dough like textures. And then it kind of happened by accident because I, I had a wrap, a raw vegan wrap, and I just rolled it up. And I thought, okay, if I roll it up without any fillings, it's like pasta. And yeah. Oh, oh I see. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. 
that's interesting. Very, very <laughs> clever. And then you just cut it and then that's, yeah. the, that's the noodle. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that's very clever. And okay, so um, where, where do you live? I forgot. Yeah, I'm from Germany. Um, I'm in Nuremberg, Bavaria. Oh, yeah. And are so are people there supportive, or are they? Uh, do you find a that you have a community of raw vegan people? Not at all. Oh. <laughs> Not at all. Oh. No. Oh. Unfortunately, it's really difficult here. So because especially in Bavaria, um, it's really heavy with meat and bread. And yeah, people are not so open to this, even to the vegan lifestyle. Oh, really? Um, yeah. Um, I mean, for sure, we have some like in the organic stores, there are some people who are more conscious of healthy lifestyle. Mm -hmm. But in general, I would say it's, yeah, difficult. <laughs> oh, that's more, too bad. Yeah, but you, have, you manage. I mean, you obviously you manage to yes, find the yes, things you need. Sorry. And I think it also, it helps, for me, it helps a lot to connect with the community online. I mean, yes. with you, with all these amazing people. So, yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's great. Yeah. That, that's nice that we have this online community yeah. so we can talk to each other and, Absolutely. you know, get support. That's, that's wonderful. And so w what do you do, like, for work? What is your main source of, of, of income? How, how do you make a living? I'm actually a professional ballet dancer. <laughs> oh, yes. wow. So, and wow. I um, teach ballet class and chess dance and also yoga classes for many years. But it was at the same time, it was always a challenge for me because I was so sick. And then all this physical work, work it was really hard, but I kept doing it. <laughs> and yeah. But um, the last few years, I reduced my work as a dance teacher and I started online coaching. So I'm also a certified nutritionist now and I coach people um, yeah, with the raw vegan lifestyle. Yeah, and I recently just started my own food startup as well. <laughs> so oh, I have, what's yeah, that? I have my own online shop and I sell raw vegan chocolate bars or date bars, energy balls. Yeah. I yeah, I saw I saw that. I and now now I'm remembering. I saw you eating one on one of your videos, and they look so good. Yes. And I, I <laughs> are they available in the United States? Um, you can actually order them in my online shop from all over the world. All over the world. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, shipping oh. would be probably pretty expensive. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, but. Oh, but but yeah. But you do ship yeah. uh, worldwide. Yes, we ship worldwide. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, they look amazing. They look better than any bar yeah. I've ever seen. Because this was my struggle. I love to have some raw vegan sweets. Yeah. <laughs> and in the organic stores, there's really not much. So, and if they are raw, they are with. <coughs> Bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, these bars we have here they are just not really healthy in my opinion they have coconut oil or right yeah so what is in your bars um they, they are made from dates basically and then i have different fla flavors like coconut or hazelnut or almond and i don't use any oils no salt no refined sugar no gluten yeah so they, basically dates and nuts and cacao butter mm. yeah mm. Yeah, they look amazing. You know, the, the chocolate on the outside. Yeah. And the one I saw you eating was sort of like white on the inside. And it looked yeah. it looked amazing. I've never seen anything like that. It's, it basically uh, tastes like cake. They taste like cake. Oh, like cake. Oh, <laughs> yeah. what are they called? So people can order. What, what, I know they're on your online shop. And what, what is the bar called? Um, Coco Anel. Because Coco, because all um, my bars have some kind of coconut in oh. there. Okay. Anel is my name and um, the other way around. So Lena is Anel. Oh, yeah. Yes, <laughs> if you yes. read it from the back. Yeah. <laughs> but that's that's good. Like Oprah, her her production company is Harpo Productions. So it's, it's her name spelled backwards. Uh, yeah. So a lot of people do that. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. that's good to know. Anel, uh we'll we'll so people should look for that if they want these delectable bars. Yeah. And then <laughs> yeah. So have you gone through the raw vegan bundle to, to look at other people's recipes and oh, whatever? Yes. 
and I love your work oh. because you know I am into sweets <laughs> yes I love, I love my sweets and yeah it's not easy to find really good things in the, in the stores it's almost impossible so yeah. I always make my own sweets and yeah just like you <laughs> and yeah. I, I grew completely raw no I, I'm not no. Not a hundred percent, but mostly until the evening, and then I have a little something that's yeah. cooked. Yeah. But um, I'm getting there. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm getting there. in my opinion, that's not necessary. If you if you eat, um, you know, most meals are raw. It's already yeah amazing. Yeah. Yeah, most meals are raw. Yeah, yeah I just I just prefer it that way. It's not it's not hard. It's just yeah. I run out of things. I think once I start to make the things in the book and the eBooks that mm -hmm. we have, you know, the raw vegan bundle, I think I'm going to have more variety and I'll yeah. crave that and rather also, than something. Chris's book, Cravings Chris? First. Have you looked, has, have you looked into this? One? Yes. Yeah. That's, I like this <laughs> because these meals are also really satiating and mm -hmm. more like some people are not, um, a salad is not enough for them. Right. So it's, really, it's really helpful to have these more denser meals, I would say. Yes. Especially if you are new to this lifestyle and you're just transitioning. Yeah. Yeah. Have, have you made any of the other things, uh, the meals from the other books? Yes. I, I made um, the raw Jamaican stew from Chris. Yes. This one was really good. Oh, it was? <laughs> the Jamaican? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Pretty good, yeah. Um, it was with spinach and coconut milk, celery, carrots, onions, and he is always freezing his vegetables. Yes. And then, then you just defrost them, and then it's like the texture is like cooked. It's amazing. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, that's great. Okay, so that you so you you like the Jamaican? Everyone's tried different ones from his book. Uh, I think Yin tried the Irish stew. That she said mm -hmm. was good. Yeah. Uh, and you should, okay, so that's good to know which which ones to try first. Um, <laughs> yeah. So uh, any of the other ones that don't have to do with food? Did you read any of the other books? Uh, um, from Ted Carr, his workout guide. I started with yes. this one. Oh, okay. Yeah, because strength strength training is also very important for me because of my bone density. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So. Yeah. I have to look into this more. And also I like the yoga courses. Oh, the yin yoga? Mm -hmm. um, I only watched um, Julia's course now, um, mm. Ashwatthanga yoga. Oh, is it? oh yes, the, uh -huh. yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one is great. And what else do we have? Not food related. <laughs> oh, the chakras, the balancing of the chakras uh -huh. by Darlene Jordan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like I, that. Yeah, that was good. Uh, I've not locked into this. Yeah, yeah. that's really good. So I, I really stuff. enjoyed that. <laughs> it's impossible to, I, it's to a, look into it. A lot. Yeah, we're talking so about, much. yeah, the people who are here, we're talking about the raw vegan bundle. It's um, available only till Thursday. It's going away very soon. And it has 40 eBooks of various types, mostly recipes for over 400 yeah. raw vegan recipes. Yeah, but they're perfect. also ebooks on on balancing your chakras and uh, yoga and um interviews ah, and for raw, raw vegan babies how to raise yes how to raise kids. raw vegan babies yeah. safely yes mm -hmm. um uh, chef aj has something in there with the list of oh, raw food romance yeah, uh, oh, wraps. The <laughs> yeah the, the <laughs> amazing wraps um 33 wraps, different flavored wraps. I mean, the, the bundle's worth that just to get Lissa's wrap book and Lena's pasta book. I mean, that alone is worth the price of the bundle. It's only $50. Yeah, it's, it's really if you bought each ebook separately, it would cost $1,854. But so <laughs> yes, so you get everything, all 40 ebooks for, for just 50, and then you can download it and it's yours for life. So mm -hmm. you have everything. If you don't want to download everything, you don't have to get just pick and choose what you want. And it's still yeah. worth it because it's so cheap. And yeah. later, everyone's selling their bundles for a lot more than what the whole bundle is worth. So it's yeah. it's really for example, my book is um, $30. Right. My, my book afterwards. So after this bundle, right. So better yeah, so I have, <laughs> yeah, so 
Yeah, so it's a good, it's a really good deal. And there's an appetizer book, mm -hmm. which is not going to be sold afterwards. It's just in the bundle. Oh, it's, right. Everybody contributed yes. appetizers that are so good. Uh, yeah. They're like vegan sushi and stuff, mushrooms, mm -hmm. and so, so many good things. If you like to entertain, it's all I appetizers. I tried to do yeah. the Korean brownies oh. in this book. Oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> And it was actually the first time I ate durian. <laughs> How was it? Oh, oh, crazy. It was so delicious. At first I thought, oh, it's not, not so my thing because it smells like really intense. Mm -hmm. Have you eaten durian before? No. Have you? No, I didn't. Yeah, it's really crazy. It's almost, it's hard to describe. It's almost like cheese at the mm -hmm. same time, sweet and with every bite, you experience another flavor. It's really crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to have to find it because everyone's been making durian. And I'm like, oh, my God, yeah. I'm like missing out here because I know <laughs> I've never had it before. So, and, and everyone has a different reaction, but ultimately everyone likes it. So yeah. and, um, and every, I'm going to. Gonna... Every fruit is totally different so yeah there are so many different varieties i just tried one so i don't know <laughs> uh -huh. as much and oh can you get it easily in your country i i, I don't know i've never looked for it so mm -hmm. i'm gonna have to now look for it because i've never seen it well i, I didn't know to look for it so maybe i just yeah. don't know because but yeah, maybe Germany, it's it's impossible so i had to order it online oh okay I'm yeah. probably going to have to do the same, yeah. but um, yeah, I'm, I'm curious to, uh, to, to, to try it. Yeah. Um, so if anybody <laughs> has any questions for Lena, you can put them in the comments yeah. and she'll answer them here. Or if you want to get in touch afterwards, you could just, um, I guess, message you. How do, is that a good way to message you? And yeah, sure, you can message if, me all the time. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That, that's Lena that's Lalune. <laughs> I also have a YouTube channel. And oh, yeah, okay. same name, Lena Lalune. Oh. So if you oh, okay. follow me there. <laughs> okay, so follow. Okay, so uh, on YouTube, on Instagram, and yeah. um, and you do you do coaching? Yeah. So if you need help, but, but, yeah, basically only um, German coaching right now. So I have a coaching program, and it's in German only okay. for okay. now. But I'm working on an English version as well. So. Oh, okay. Soon. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, okay. So, oh, so it's already recorded, you mean? It's, it's yeah. recorded already? Well, people sign up and then they get a video each week, oh. a new video. Okay. And then we have, okay. have so a new German. Team. Yeah. This is for you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Well, that's wonderful. So, and so that, you know, people can learn from, from your experience and from your expertise on how, how to get better with gut issues and things like that yeah and i reversed my osteoporosis so if you struggle with that as well mm -hmm. reach out mm -hmm. and doctors told me it's not possible to reverse it oh. so they said they said i can stop it and so, so that it doesn't get worse but mm -hmm. it's not possible to reverse it but but you did I am. <laughs> and, and you reversed it with your diet and exercise Yes, I started to do strength training before I was only dancing and yoga and a lot of cardio. And then I started to do strength training as well. And yeah, the raw vegan diet. <laughs> wow. Yeah. wow, that that's incredible. I'm glad to hear that. Cause yeah, they all say you can't reverse yeah. osteoporosis, but mm. you did it. And so now I always tell you to eat more calcium from dairy products. I know. <laughs> and that's, that's, that's the worst, the worst. Thing you can do. Yeah. That's the worst thing you could do. It actually pulls calcium from your bones. And exactly, people don't... because it's so acidic. Yeah. And um, your body has to use calcium to make, to make, um, to create a normal pH. Well, um, mm -hmm. How is it called? pH value? Or... Mm -hmm. Yeah. So okay. your body has to use calcium. And then it's really the worst thing you can do. <laughs> right. So no, so everybody, no cow's milk, no goat milk. Yeah. Just we get our calcium from other things like chia seeds and greens. Dark, dark leafy greens. Exactly. And every fruit has calcium. <laughs> so every fruit has calcium. Vegetable. vegetable has protein. You get your yeah. protein from vegetables. Don't, 
believe the the propaganda. Yeah. Uh, you get you get your protein from your vegetables and fruits. Everything has protein. You don't need it from meat. Yeah. You don't need it from dairy. We you can guarantee even, you. You don't even need to consume complete proteins because we can consume the amino acids and then your body can build protein from the single amino acids. So. Right. Okay. So people, you don't have to worry about protein. No. Just eat enough calories, no. eat enough raw, eat enough vegan calories. Exactly. As soon as you eat enough calories, you will have enough protein. Exactly. So, exactly. so it's, you don't have to even figure it out. No. You don't have to count grams of anything just yeah. eat a well-rounded vegan diet and you will have enough of everything yeah so i'm glad you said this because i don't count anything i don't count calories i don't count my macros nothing right but do I. yeah never. at the beginning it can be maybe it can be helpful in the beginning mm -hmm. because people some people tend to under eat because it's just so much volume mm -hmm. they're often compared to cooked food and then they under eat because they feel full because it's so much volume because big salads for example or um, a whole watermelon it fills you up but it's not so much in calories yeah <laughs> yes. so, yeah it can Great. really help to use something like chronometer in the beginning to just be sure you have enough mm -hmm. calories then i mean if you do it for a time it will become your new normal and you don't have to count anymore right yeah. So Free Axel just said, we just need the enzymes from live food plants. And that's exactly right. Yeah. Just focus on living foods, fruits and vegetables, yes. nuts and seeds, and that's it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, so everybody, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Uh, we are going to sign off so you can get in touch with us through our Instagram accounts and our our websites and um you can ask us anything you want we're here to help and yeah. we we are selling the raw vegan bundle uh until thursday then it goes away forever uh it will never be the same we have all created new content especially for this bundle so you will you do not have if you haven't bought the 2023 vegan bundle it is new and completely uh new content from all the creators there are 40 ebooks that you get for $50 it's going to be worth much much more uh, after it's over and everyone's selling their stuff separately so get it before Thursday through uh, Lena's link through my link it uh, doesn't matter just get it it's good for your health okay. it's good for your life and you will not regret it so thank you so, so much is it Lena or Lena um in Germany Lena Lena yeah Okay, it's Lena. Yeah. So th thank you, Lena, for, for, for being here with me today. It's so nice to meet you. And thank you for the exquisite recipes that you have put into that ebook. I cannot wait to make those recipes. You, guys, if you haven't seen this ebook, you will not believe <laughs> the sauces and the way the, 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 the pasta looks like conventional pasta yeah. it is actually i have some, some pictures oh, you have here pictures. Can I... oh, oh yeah why don't you show the pictures wait till you um, see this i don't know can you see this yeah um, for example these are my lemony sage ribbon noodles and it's made from zucchini but i used a vegetable peeler so i just keep peeling the zucchini and the strips so they are really thick and it's so satiating and then i use a hemp seed sauce with lemon and sage it's really yummy <laughs> and then... show, yeah show show the one with the um the pen and what is it called noodles. yes the noodles the other noodles this yeah one. yeah that's that one yeah look yeah, at it, that it really looks like real pasta and it, it looks like the real it tastes pasta. like real pasta is that unbelievable and what's the sauce <laughs> on that one again um, tomato chili sauce. So. Oh, tomato chili. Oh my God. Yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculously delicious. People are saying how good it is. People who have already made this, they're, they're talking about it, yeah. saying how good, yeah, oh, the, how good it is. That. Thank you. So yeah, this is the wrap and you just roll it up and then you cut it into pieces. Uh-huh. So. Okay, great. Oh, yeah. so it's very easy. You just cut it on an angle. Yeah. Okay. It's really 
all my recipes are basically pretty easy to make because I don't like to spend hours and hours in the kitchen on, right, on a daily right. basis. Yeah. I have to have That's good to know. Easy. That's very good to know. Thank you for saying that. So it's easy. It doesn't take too much time. You just do it. Yeah. Just and do it's it. done. And also okay. the ingredients are easy to find everywhere. You don't have to order specific strange ingredients. It's okay. really simple. Everything really simple. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you for sharing that. It's good. We got a nice visual. So we're not just talking <laughs> theoretically. <laughs> yeah. You're, you, you, you. Uh, you can see how delicious Lena's uh, recipes are. There, there are so many more, and there, there, like I said, four hundred other recipes in the in in the bundle that so you, you can basically make another. You can make another recipe for over one year every day. Another recipe. Oh, and <laughs> exactly, over a year's yeah. worth of recipes, right? And then just keep the ones that you like, yeah. and then you have a repertoire for the rest of your life. Exactly. That's how many recipes there are. You don't have to buy another book for the rest, of the cookbook for the rest of your life because that's how many recipes there yeah. are. It's it's really worth it. So so click the links in our bios and you will be happy. We promise. There, there there's no downside. Absolutely no downside. You'll only feel better, look better, stay healthier, be your best self. There's no downside to it. So I want to thank Lena for joining me today. It's such a pleasure to know you. I'm glad that you overcame all those issues that you had when you were younger. Thank goodness you're healthy. Mm -hmm. And thank you for sharing your, your exquisite recipes with us. We are so much better off having them in our lives. Yeah. So, thank you so much for having me. I'm really yes. excited. It was it, nice to see you to finally was, connect. Yes. Thank you so yes, much. It, yes, <laughs> and we will. We'll stay in touch. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful day and we will see you soon. Thank Bye. you. Bye-bye.